Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes, and in this video I'll be showing you the playback transport controls here in Dorico, the advanced music notation software from Steinberg. Before we start, there's one preference I'll switch on to help with this video, and you might find it useful sometimes when you're working in Dorico. It's found in General Preferences, so on Windows, open the Edit menu and select Preferences. And on Mac, that's found in the Dorico menu. Or you can just use the key command control comma. That's command comma on Mac. Make sure you're looking at the general category, then scroll all the way down to the bottom to the play section and check show playhead when stopped. Apply and close the dialog. Now we will always see the green playhead, even when we're not playing back. Okay. So let's start with the basic transport controls that are found on the toolbar. By having them on the toolbar here, they are visible and accessible in every mode without the need for additional windows to be open. And even if you choose to use the key commands to operate playback, it can still be handy to see the readout indicating the bar and beat. Starting at the far right, we have the activate project button. Now, this button doesn't do anything when you press it just yet, though it does tell you which of your open projects is the active one. In this example, I have two projects open at the same time, but Dorico can only have the sounds loaded for one and must know which one to play back when you press space. When you switch windows, Dorico will automatically load the project that is now in focus, and this is indicated by the blue on the state of the activate project button. The next button is play. Press it and the project will start playing back, initially from the very beginning of the first flow. You'll notice the green playhead moving to show which part of the music is currently playing. Press the button again to stop playback. Because we selected the preference to show the playhead when playback is stopped, we can still see the green line across the system. Press play again, and playback restarts from the point at which we had previously stopped. It's like pressing pause on a CD player, or for those of us that remember the halcyon days, like pressing stop on a tape deck. The next button rewinds to the beginning of the flow. Once at the beginning of the flow, press it again to rewind to the start of the first flow. During playback, the button initially returns to the beginning of the flow before continuing to play back, but pressing it again quickly will jump back to the previous flow. Next, we have a readout of the current play position of the flow. The first number denotes the bar or measure, then we have the beat number, and after that, fractions of a beat. Finally, there is a button to open the transport window. You can also open and close the transport window using the key command F2. The transport window is expected to gain additional functionality as Dorico matures, though as of version 1.2 sports a larger readout and a few more transport buttons. The larger display also includes a timecode readout that shows the current play position but in hours, minutes and seconds. This time display continues to increase with each flow, so you can see how long your entire layout is. Here we have two play buttons. The first one starts playback from the current position of the playhead and so operates in the same fashion as the one on the toolbar. This second play button plays back from the current selection. So if you have selected a note in the score, then playback will start at that point, even if it is in a different flow. Then we have a stop button, though both of the play buttons also functions as stop while playback is active. Next, we have Fast Forward and Rewind that jumps the playhead forwards or backwards by a small amount. These buttons also operate during playback. And finally, there is the Rewind to Start a Flow button that we have seen on the toolbar. To speed up your workflow, Dorico has key commands for these playback controls. Simply press the spacebar to start playing back from the current position of the playhead, and press the spacebar again to stop Use Shift and Space to play back from the last start position, and Shift Alt Space will play back from the start of the flow. 
If you select a single note and press P, Dorico will play back from that selection. But if you make a multiple selection and press P, then Dorico will play back only the staves that are selected. So, for example, I can click an empty part of this bar and press P to play back just this flute stave. And I can select these two notes to hear just the flute and oboe parts. Sometimes you may be working on a section and would like to hear only a subset of the full ensemble each time you play back, but don't want to keep having to make a selection on those staves. If this is the case, you can make your selection and then press Alt S and this will solo the selected tracks in play mode and the mixer and so just those tracks will play back, regardless of your selection when you press play. These settings will remain on until such a time that you explicitly clear them, either in play mode or in the mixer. If you have a full-size keyboard, then you can make use of the number keys over at the right-hand side for starting and stopping playback and for moving the playhead forwards and backwards. You'll also find many of these commands in the play menu, which also helpfully displays their key commands to help you learn them. Remember that you can always define your own key commands in preferences on the key commands page. You'll find the commands relating to transport controls under the play category. When playing back a project with multiple flows, Dorico will automatically leave a short gap at the end of a flow before starting the next. You can edit the length of that gap in playback options using the section at the top of the timing page. If you found this video helpful, it would mean the world to me if you would click the thumbs up button below to let me know you've liked it. And please subscribe to our Dorico channel right now to see many more videos like this one. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.